guys, uh, John Born again back in another vlog. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today I'm gonna show you how to fix uh, missing files on your desktop. Um, I received this laptop uh, from my auntie. She's sending it to me for me to check the laptop because uh, some of her uh, important files are missing or completely gone. We can find it. So I thought it was caused by a virus and turned out to be that um, the Windows created a temporary profile and that's why the files on the desktop are missing. So to fix this problem, uh, what's uh, usually the, the cause of the problem is that uh, it's caused by improper shutdown and it makes sense because uh, the, the the battery of this laptop is completely defective already it's not it's no longer uh, charging so whenever the, the charger is unplugged it's gonna shut down the computer like turn off the computer so it's not properly shut down and that's why uh, Windows created a temporary profile so uh, let me show you how to fix this we're gonna need to change some registry so let's, we need to go to the uh, re reg edit all right and just click yes on that go to H key local machine uh, then go to software then go to Microsoft scroll down and look for Windows NT Windows NT and expand current version look for profile list so as you can see these are the user profiles on this computer um, this computer should have only one user profile but since uh, the, the profile is corrupted it creates a temporary profile as you can see on this profile ID you have the temporary profile there so what you need to do is just delete this uh, ID and then rename this profile with the word back on it just delete the word back when and also include the dot hit enter and restart the computer so I'm just gonna pause the video uh, we'll get we'll show you once it is restarted Thanks. All right, we're almost done restarting the computer or the laptop. Let's just let's just wait for a moment. Nice. Uh, back again on this. Uh, troubleshooting so I wasn't able to fix the problem by deleting the temporary profile on the registry so what I did is I created a new profile uh, it's an administrator profile and since I still have access on the files from the old and corrupted profile I moved it on the desktop and I think that should solve the problem for now and I'm still copying the files here Alright, if you have questions, um, just put your comment down below. Alright, bye guys.